Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Father Bob Gross, and it's 434 on the Feast of St. Joseph. Um, happy Feast Day. Uh, I wanted to get on here to make a brief video uh, to give an update on some things so that you know that I'm alive and doing well. Uh, so first of all, Today is the Feast of St. Joseph, so happy feast day. Today is nine years ago today that Pope Francis was inaugurated as the new Pope, the successor of St. Peter. And um, yes, we're thankful to God for him. Also thankful to God for St. Joseph, the just man who took care of um, Jesus and Mary. And... Um, just want to give an update on uh, what's going on with uh, um, my mom and my family. So um, I want to first thank everyone for their very kind prayers and concern for my mom. Uh, so when I got here, uh, my mom had had a very, very traumatic and major surgery of, um, the, of, of amputating her left leg, uh, and it was above the knee. And she's been in the hospital since last last Wednesday. Uh, so it's going to be up to a week coming this week. Um, and it was very, very, very hard surgery for her. And she's accepting the new reality and we're taking the next steps. So it was very good um, to be with her. I was reminded of the of the truth that that presence heals when we are present to one another uh, healing can happen and um, so my mom had that and then her right arm wasn't working very well and then she actually got a touch of pneumonia so um, but she's been slowly getting better it's slowly and she's probably going to have to have some significant therapy coming up so it's just a lot of conversations with doctors and nurses and social workers and red tape and applications and conversations and uh, conversations with family and uh, all that jazz. So um, my mom gets pretty tired out, so she kicks me out of the room. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm back at her apartment here. Um, I just want to let everyone know that I'm praying for you. I was, I was praying for the Kreener family as they were burying Jerome. Um, praying for all of you as you celebrate the third Sunday of Lent. Um, I need to be here for a couple, several more days uh, to make sure that my mom gets settled in her next placement. And um, yeah, so that's kind of going on with that. Um, but God is good. God has given uh, a great sense of peace and serenity uh, to me. Um, to be steady. I'm very thankful to that. It's a very different experience than in the past. I was much more filled with anxiety. But since the parish mission and the baptism in the Holy Spirit, um, God has given me really a, a deep sense of peace to anchor me. It doesn't mean I don't have feelings that I struggle with or thoughts that are not of God. It, it just I just feel more rooted in, in his love and him taking care of all of this. Um, and the scripture, Romans 8, 28, is really coming out that God works all things for good for those who love him. And that's really the case um, that I'm starting to experience more profoundly. Doesn't take away the difficulties or the sadness or walking with my mom and her new chapter of life, but um, God is there. God is present. He's helping. And uh, we really... Rejoice that God walks with us and has a deeper purpose to everything than we can even imagine. Um, so I just want to thank everyone again for their prayers. Uh, I'll keep you posted. Um, but right now she's still in the hospital and we are walking with her. We're just walking and being with her. And um, we're praying that God slowly kind of brings wholeness and health and, and most of all her spiritual health uh, stays strong. So she's received communion every day. The hospital chaplain anointed her. Her pastor anointed her. Um, 
so Grace is really flowing, and tomorrow uh, my siblings that are close uh, are going to be able to gather, and my sister Karen is getting ready to come after I leave. So um, we're all coming together, and we're all working together, and there's really a, a sense of uh, unity among all of us as we try to make these decisions. So I'm just thankful to God for that. So I wanted to give you that update. Uh, God bless you. Thank you so much for your prayers and concern. And uh, that's all she wrote, I think. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I really want to get back into that. So we'll start that tomorrow morning. I'll probably do it around 7 a.m. Um, and then if you can't make 7 a.m., you can always watch it later, and we'll figure out a regular time uh, each day that I'm here in Racine. So we've got to get that up and going again. So God bless you all, and thank you so much for all that you are doing for me, especially your prayer and for my mom. Thank you for your concern and love. May God bless you. Have a good day. Happy St. Joseph Day.